here we are driving to Fishguard in Wales, getting on the ferry, ready for the crossing to Rosslare. And we had to get up really early, about 7.30, no, 7.15 we set off from Cornwall. And it's about four hours on the ferry, so it's a little bit boring, but um, we can. We had a lovely window of seat, actually, and you can see here that when the sun was shining, we had a lovely view. And, uh, and also we can go up onto the top deck. This is when we're just approaching the uh, house. And I was seeing the drive for the first time. I was so excited and impressed with the road. I mean, that's our road. It just looks like something like the council would put down in a good way. I mean, it's just proper quality standard. And as we were, were arriving, we saw that the workmen would already oh, arrived. Yeah. Their vans yeah. were here. So we've we got um, Dennis and Pat, who we always use. Dennis is a civil engineer and Pat, they work as a team. The problem is, I can offer you at the moment. I think there's something falling down inside here, doesn't it? Yeah, it's running, it's running down. Yeah. I think when when Michael came up, he said he said the water was almost just the through the door of the house. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Gosh. You can imagine a bad weather, the flood that comes down there. Would, you know, if that was cleaned out, and the grass taken out of it, and a bit of a channel yeah. opened up along yeah, there. Yeah, it'd run away, wouldn't it? It'll, it'll take the water away, like. Yeah. 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 So, as you may gather, the plan was to lay a drain and to dig out a channel so that the water that was flooding by the house would be redirected where we want it to be away from the house and round the back of the house so this sort of trench uh, gully down the side of the road would be initially we thought about actually putting a drain down there but that would have been really expensive so they just dug out a, a trench so that it would naturally flow that way and they also plan to reinstate a drain underneath the road where there previously had been a drain but it probably had collapsed and that had caused the problem so yeah you can see here already that through just digging that channel we've got the water going where we want it to go About an hour later, the drain was delivered. You can see it there. And we thought we'd just leave them to it. And we decided to head to town for an hour or so. When we returned, they'd finished the job. They'd actually laid the drain under the road, or they put it into the trench, rather, that we had to jump over it previously. And the, the road was, you know, they covered it all over again. So the road was back intact. And... Uh, it's just remarkable how quickly they worked. We were so pleased that that job got done in the space of about three hours. Um, yeah, really, really positive start to our, not really our holiday, our working holiday, our first day there. We got an, an important job done. It's now six o'clock in the evening. We managed to get the tent up. We weren't sure whether we were going to have the tent today or whether we were all just going to snuggle up in the caravan because it has been raining quite a lot but the rain did stop so we got that done and um, yeah I think we're just going to be finishing off for the day. Noel is just talking to uh, Dennis over there and then I think everybody's going to just uh, you know call it a day and we'll finish we'll finish off by cooking a meal I don't know if I dare show you in here it's such a tip but we have got some food and we have got a little cooker and uh, yeah, we'll see you again tomorrow.